Dashami marks the end of Durga Puja or the nine days that we have worshipped Adi Shakti, Parvati, Chamundi, Amba, Ambika in all her beautiful nine forms. But on Dashami, we celebrate the victory of good and the destruction of evil. This is a day of great joy and festivities and even our two great epics, the Ramayana and the Mahabharat, are celebrated because it is again good over evil. The goddess Durga is seen on this day with none other than 18 arms. Her 18 arms are the 18 Shastras and different weapons that are given to her by the deities to destroy Mahishasur, the demon. The culmination of the nine days from where it starts from the sixth day, Shashti, where she takes the form as the warrior. And on that, the culmination of the 10th day, where she destroys all the obstacles in the path and gives freedom from ignorance. We celebrate this all over India, and it is a festival of culture, food, fun, prayers, focus on all the different chakras and the energy that is released. It is a very big festival, of course, in Bengal, but all over India it is celebrated, whereby the goddess Durga is made with different clay images, which are again biodegradable. She is submerged in the waters, as it is believed that she is, it is a big send off for her. But even the creating of those images in clay are made with certain rules and shastras from the Vishwakarma Shastra. So everything about this, these nine days and the culmination of the 10th days, there is a lot of rituals, but a lot of sentiment that goes with it, which is so appealing in this day and age. When we celebrate nature, vegetation, we celebrate the Shami tree, which is where in the Mahabharat, it is believed the Pandavas had hidden their weapons. And on that particular day, when their 13th year was over, they took it out and the twang of Arjuna's bow, the famous twang is what was heard all over. And he destroyed several people in battle. It is on this day that the 10 headed demon Ravana, who of course represents lust, greed, and all the negativities. He was destroyed by Lord Rama, who prayed on the days before he left for Sri Lanka to defeat Ravana, who had kidnapped Sita. He prayed to the goddess Aparajita, the victorious Devi, Parashakti, and that is the one we celebrate on Vijaya Dashmi. The word Vijaya also is another name for Arjuna, and Arjuna is believed to be on this day the true warrior, not compared to anyone, not even Karna, because he won in battle against Karna on this particular day. In the Ramayana, as we said, it is Lord Rama who had victory destroying Ravan on this day. It is on this day that the goddess who had taken a form from the sixth day onwards and was battling for these nine days the, the demon, the bison demon Mahishasur, who had managed to get a boon from Lord Brahma to never to be destroyed by any man. Well, there's always something that the gods can do. And so Devi came into being as Mahashakti with all the Siddhis in her. And he never said not to be destroyed by any woman. So he was destroyed and slain on this day. And so we celebrate Vijaya Dashmi all over with uh, tents are set up and prayers are offered, dance dramas, skits are played. And it is a day where all students bow down to their teachers, kings and queens and Kshatriyas pray to the Shami tree. To, they pray to their weapons. It is a day when every person prays to every instrument that they work with. So with that, Vijaya Dashmi marks the end of the nine days of Durga Puja. And on the 10th day with all the celebrations,
from Mahabharat to the Ramayana are two great epics to the commencing period of Diwali where the celebrations soon begin. Shobha Navaratri to all and to the great goddess who blesses all with her Shakti.